Okay, so we've got Endurance 101. Said, I'd love to see Sargon and the Bora squad. All right, Endurance 101, your wish is my command. So here we present, we've got the Bora crew, and we've got Peter Sagan, we've got Ollie, who's just turned up from England, and uh, wrote me on Tumblr and said, I want to go riding, where can we meet? I said, meet me at 8.30. Uh, Vic Square and we'll go out for a ride. So this is Ollie's first little long ride in South Australia. First time in Australia, lands in Adelaide and uh, first time riding with World Tour Pros and uh, picked a good day for it and we got uh, Bora crew with uh, Peter Sagan. So we're going up uh, Belair Road and we're doing about 300 watts. So it's you, you got to be fit to be here. Um, if you're not fit, you're not going to last long uh, at, this, at this sort of wattages. So we're cruising along about 300 watts, which is 300 watts is pretty standard you know the average professional rider is probably about 73 kilo or more so 300 watts is, is not very hard for them to do for at least three to four hours so we're, we're cruising up the climb here most of the climbs today we did about 300 watts um at least average i'd say 290 average for most of the climbs and uh we're just cruising on up the uh, belair road we also have chili he's christian is a guy i met uh, norton summer he also came to adelaide he's seen my videos he's like and want to go training so he did a 700k week last week biggest week of his life and uh he's camped in my backyard and uh it's just, this is this is just doing riders reality you know this is how i roll you can see my, see my silhouette i'm filming there for instagram snapchat you can see my shadow there and so i'm finding this pace quite you know quite cash getting it i'm basically working right now getting some footage for you guys and girls out there and thanks for getting me out the house because uh it gives me purpose every day to get out there and, and sort of ride now I'm going to put the phone, the, the camera away, and I'm going to get a little bit closer. You can sort of see the cadences. Uh, obviously, the crew are finding this pretty easy. So Peter Sagan, all the pro riders, you know, not just Peter, but all riders, they match up their, their mission, match their cadence. Sometimes they, maybe they've got a saddle sore, so they you know, click it in a harder gear and climb out the saddle and grind a bit, or maybe their back's a bit tight. So they sort of, you know, spend so many hours of the you on the bike and you sort of, you know, you don't always spin, you don't always grind, but you'll definitely see, when it comes to racing, you'll always see guys like Peter Sagan spinning that high cadence, that high efficiency, uh, the high power. I and mean, if you want to produce power, you have to spin. If you're not spinning, you are going to get dropped so quick. You're going to get dropped so quick. You know, if you're not spinning, you're toast, unless you're riding with, like, you know, total you know beginners like you know f graders and that's nothing wrong with an f grader there's nothing wrong with that at all you know everyone's got to start somewhere but if you're wanting to get faster and leaner and reduce your fatigue metabolites day to day then you, and reduce injury and have more success on strava or riding to work or being in the grand tour or paru bay or you know flanders or paru nice or amstel gold or e3 etc then you got to you got to spin, motherfucker. You got to spin, and uh, it's great having guys like Chris Froome, Sagan, uh, Lance. You know all these hitters out there who just prove my point. Not even my point. Prove physics point that you got to spin. If you ain't spinning, man, you're gonna get fucked up. You know, if you're riding with serious riders and you're not spinning, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna get dropped, man. You're gonna get dropped. You know, so. I mean, what was that race? Was it Flanders? One of the races. I'll do another video about it where, where Sagan's just spinning away from, I think it was Van Mark. You know, like Van Mark's grinding. And I'm like, how, in 2016, it was 2017 now, but that race was last year. How is like, how, how are people still grinding? And Sagan and Cancellara, they're just riding away from him spinning. I mean, watch, watch the classics this year and let's see if anyone's learned anything. I mean, these are professional riders. You know, why are you grinding? Uh, in, in a race, you know. And again, this is what I do. See, this is right in front of me here. We have, um, it's not Jay McCarthy, but it, Jay McCarthy's going good at the moment. He's actually up the road. He was hitting it hard, man. So Jay McCarthy is a little dark horse or two and under, in my opinion. Maybe no one won't like me saying that, given the given the threats away. But definitely Jay McCarthy is uh, in some good form at the moment. He was spinning some rapid cadence. And he was dropping some watt bombs today. So my money is on uh, Rowan Dennis. My money's on uh, Lachlan Morton. You know, it's not a climber's race, but Lachlan might pull us a bit out of the bag there. Um, but definitely, Jay McCarthy. Uh, who else have we got? Ryan Dennis, I said that. Louis, Louis, Louis Sanchez. Yeah, Sanchez with Astana. Yesterday, he was banging it, man. He was banging it. He was banging it hard. So, uh, so basically, the team car on. Uh, and I'm basically a guest, so I'm trying to get out of the way for everything. And then, basically, they're just having a chat talking about you know how we're going to get dropped during rider before the top of the climb during rider needs to go home and 
edit some videos why can't you just leave now so basically just they're looking up they're t forming race tactics how to drop during rider on the Wollonga Hill and basically saying you know does this guy have any friends and what's going on and all he seems to do is just ride around at world tour teams this time of year like get a job during rider sort of thing so they having a bit of a discussion here um, and if this part of the video I'm not sure but Peter was sort of like bouncing on the car just sort of bouncing off the car and it just shows the skill that these riders have you know like and I'd say Pete is of the uh, exceptional technical skill watch him sort of bounce off the car uh, maybe he didn't do this maybe it's another video I've got a lot of footage so there'll be a lot more coming if you like these videos man I don't know like I said yesterday if you like them give them a thumbs up and I'll do more you know I'll do more so let me know what you want to see interviews questions these guys are all approachable man like um, you know they see my YouTube videos they see my stuff they know who I am the bamboo bike you know there's only one freak show in Adelaide like that so if you got any questions you want me to ask them etc you know let me know so you can see Pete sort of out the saddle now heavier gear just sort of giving that saddle area a bit of a break and I'm like I gotta go around go get some more footage up here guys and uh, so we're just we're tapping about 300 watts 300 watts there you see the cadence says Dan there carbs and uh, we've got Ollie so everyone's all the crew that I ride with spin they all spin as a GoPro there just let you know that the garment's still working and we're still up well longer here we did this twice today did two laps we did two laps of Lolonga Hill. It's a new specialized um, tarmac. So it's not it's not new. It's a new paint job. I thought, oh, cool. I'm quite fancy, to be honest. I mean, specialized, typically, I'm a big fan of their paint jobs and most of their bikes. You know, they, they definitely got some artistic colors going on there and just all just basic colors, but they, they always work well. And uh, t today, Sagan was on the tarmac. Uh, the team, it was a bit of a mix. Sam Bennett was on the uh, what's that GoPro going on there. Maybe we can cut that out. No, this is real shit. This is gum trees looking for koalas. Um, so there, um, there was Tarmax, there was Vengers, and we've got the Dura Ace group set, Power Meters, Pioneer. And we've got another rider there on our left is a corporate lawyer, Patrick. He's just come down to Adelaide and he started riding a year ago. He's on his TCR, he's got his compact, he's got a 32, he's got a Power Meter. And dude's like, he's just been riding for a year, man, but he was dropping some bot bombs today. You know, like, this is, this is carbs, man. This is carbs and cadence land. This is carbs and cadence, man. This is my reality. And anyone who, who follows my advice, carbs and cadence, man, and come to Adelaide, you're fucking rocking it with the big dogs in training. No worries. And, uh, and that's a good thing about cycling. You know, it's a very social sport. And uh, in training, no one owns the road, and you just stay at the back, and uh, you're good to go, and just sort of follow the wheels and watch and have a bit of a yarn and let people do their job. But it's definitely Adelaide, South Australia. Man, it's fucking rad, man. It's rad here. So thanks to all the Bora crew. Thanks to all the... Uh, the people who built the roads today, it was a fucking awesome day. You got any questions? Hit me up down below. Enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Right.